नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम सो इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द स्टडे हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड एट आइसोलेटेड प्लेसेस ओवर तमिलनाडु केरल को कोनकेर एंड गोवा तेलंगाना उड़ीसा वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश ईस्ट राजस्थान वेस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश एंड उत्तराखंड विच कैन बी सीन इन द ऑरेंज कलर एंड स्टडे एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल मीन्स द रेनफॉल मोर देन 20 सेंटीमीटर वाज आल्सो रिपोर्टेड एट वन आर टू प्लेसेस ओवर द साउथ इंटीरियर कर्नाटका कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड द हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर द कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश मध्य महाराष्ट्र सौराष्ट्र ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ बिहार ईस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश पंजाब सिक्किम एरिया एंड आसाम एंड मेघालय Which are given in the yellow color, and if you look for the advancement of the southwest monsoon, which can be seen in this map, where the blue color line represents the areas up to which the monsoon has been reached, and this red color line represents the how the monsoon basically progresses over the Indian region. So, in this map, we can see that. Today on 27th of June, this southwest monsoon uh, has advanced into uh, remaining parts of the Arabian Sea and over the remaining parts of the Gujarat state, some more parts of the Rajasthan, remaining uh, most parts of the Madhya Pradesh, and uh, some more parts of the Bihar, some more par some parts of the Jharkhand. And this monsoon has also advanced into the some parts of the North East Uttar Pradesh, some parts of the South Uttar Pradesh, and some and the most parts of the Uttarakhand. most parts of the himachal pradesh and the most parts of the jammu kashmir and the ladakh region on today and the conditions are also becoming favorable for the further advance of the southwest monsoon into the some more parts of rajasthan remaining parts of madhya pradesh remaining parts of the chatisgarh remaining parts of the west bengal jharkhand remaining parts of bihar most parts of the uttar pradesh remaining parts of uttarakhand himachal pradesh and some parts of the haryana and some more parts of the punjab and even on the monsoon is also likely to advance over the uh Delhi and Sea region during next two to three days. And if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features, then oh, along the west coast, a trough line can be seen at the mean sea level, mainly from the Maharashtra to Kerala coast over the Bay of Bengal. A cyclonic circulation lies over the northwest, adjoining west central Bay of Bengal over the East India. A cyclonic circulation lies over the north east Assam, and another circulation lies over the northern parts of the Bangladesh. Over the western parts of the country, a cyclonic circulation lies. Over over the central parts of gujarat and a trough line also runs runs from this gujarat region up to bihar across the madhya pradesh and the eastern east uttar pradesh and another circulation lies over the south uh, rajasthan in the lower tropospheric levels and in the middle tropospheric levels a western disturbance can be seen over the afghanistan area because of uh, and it shear line also runs mainly in the middle tropospheric levels uh, roughly uh, around 17 degree north which can be seen in the red color line and mainly because of the these uh, synoptic features and if you look for the uh, mainly the heavy rainfall activity over the country during next 5 days then major the rainfall activity will confined uh, all along the west coast and mainly over the northern parts of the country which can be seen in this map and over the north west india firstly if you look for the northwest india then heavy rainfall activity it one or two places very likely to continue over the uh, himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana uttar pradesh and rajasthan during all the five days uh, and even on today 27th of june very heavy rainfall activity where the rain can reach up to the 20 cm uh, will be seen over the east uttar pradesh uttarakhand and similarly on 28th of june the heavy, very heavy rainfall activity is very likely over the uttar pradesh uttarakhand similarly on 29th of june the rainfall activity will increase over the entire this belt into gangetic plains so the very heavy rainfall activity will be seen over the uh, uttar pradesh uttarakhand haryana and eastern uh, east uttar pradesh and on 29th of june heavy rainfall activity is also likely over the delhi and sir region similarly on 30th june very heavy rainfall will be seen over the haryana west uttar pradesh and east rajasthan which are given in the orange color and delhi and sir region is also likely to receive heavy rainfall on 30th june also for on 1st of june uh, july mainly the very heavy rainfall will be seen over the east uttar pradesh how over the remaining parts of the northwest india the heavy rainfall activity will be seen on 1st july and if you look for the north east india then heavy to very heavy rainfall activity at one or two places uh, mainly over the arunachal pradesh assam tripura 
and Manipur region and sub Himalayan and West Bengal and Sikkim region will be seen during all the five days. So we have issued the yellow alert. However, uh, on 29th and 30th of June, very heavy rainfall activity is likely over the Meghalaya region. So we have given the orange alert for the Meghalaya for 29th and 30th June. If we look for the East India, then the mainly the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. Uh, mainly on uh, today, 27th of June, the very heavy rainfall activity is likely over the Odisha and heavy rainfall activity will be seen over the Bihar. However, there is not, uh, there, is, there is no possibility of heavy rainfall over the West Bengal and Jharkhand on today. On 28th of June, the very heavy rainfall will continue over the Odisha and heavy rainfall will be seen over the Gangetic West Bengal and Bihar region. And on 29th of uh, uh, June, the very heavy rainfall will be seen over the Odisha and over the Bihar also. However, over the Gangetic West Bengal and the Jharkhand region, heavy rainfall activity is likely and on 30th June only heavy rainfall will be seen over the entire East India and on 1st of July the rainfall will gradually decrease over the East India however at one or two places heavy rainfall will be seen over the Bihar and the Jharkhand region. If you look for the West West India, then mainly the if you look firstly if you look for the Central India, then mainly the heavy rainfall activity uh, uh, is likely to continue over the Madhya Pradesh, Bidharva, uh, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh region uh, during next three to four days. And however, over the West Madhya Pradesh today, very heavy rainfall activity is likely, and uh, uh, from uh, uh, the rainfall activity will gradually decrease over the East India and adjoining parts of the Central India, including the East Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Vidharva from 1st of July and if you look for the West India then heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is very likely all uh, along the Konkan and Goa regions and heavy rainfall activity over the Ghat areas of the Madh Maharashtra uh, will continue during all the five days. We have issued the orange alert for the Konkan region and yellow alert for the Madh Maharashtra region for all the five days and over the peninsular India the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity will be seen mainly over the Kerala, South India, Karnataka and coastal Andhra Pradesh today and heavy rainfall activity is likely at one or two places over the Telangana and Tamil Nadu region on today. Tomorrow the heavy rainfall activity will be seen over the Kerala and so, uh, over the south interior Karnataka region and from 29th of June onwards the rainfall activity will significantly decrease over the entire peninsular India except the coastal Karnataka where heavy rainfall will continue. Uh, today the extremely heavy rainfall means rainfall more than 20 centimeter is also likely over the coastal Karnataka so we have issued the red alert for the coastal Karnataka because of the extremely heavy rainfall. So so uh, we can see in this map also mainly the over the peninsular India the rainfall activity will decrease gradually decrease from tomorrow onwards similarly over the northern parts of the country this rainfall activity will continue and even the rainfall will significantly increase over the entire East India and over the northern parts of the country from 29th of June for the subsequent three to four days over the West India mainly over the Maharashtra region rainfall heavy rainfall will continue during all the five days over the central parts of the country Country, heavy rainfall activity will be seen during uh, next three to four days mainly from the 1st of July the rainfall activity will gradually decrease over the central parts of the country as well. If you look for the other parts of the country then mainly the light to moderate rainfall activity over the many parts of the peninsular India will be seen on today and from tomorrow onwards the rainfall activity will gradually decrease. Over the north east India over the some parts of the uh, east India central India and the uh, north west India the light to moderate uh, rainfall activity over the many parts will be seen during all the five days and over the western Himalayan region also the rain, light rainfall activity and moderate rainfall activity will be seen over the many parts of the Jambu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand region during all the five days. For more detailed weather information you can visit the IMD website, you can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.